We had the preschool here at Dixon for a number of years and we'd always wanted the notion of an art studio. The arts are a really important part of our education programs. We wanted a space that was flexible, so it could be used for performing arts, for visual arts, for our whole preschool community to come together for meetings, so that we could have professional learning here as well with educators. Most importantly of all, what we wanted was a space for children that was magical, that had a sense of sparking their curiosity, and that would be quite different from anything else they'd encountered. And we've been very amply rewarded in that. The brickwork in this place is phenomenal. Um, just the curves, the shapes, our wonderful turret. We had that unique opportunity as a preschool that we literally had viewing windows in to a space being constructed. We got to see the beautiful frames being pulled up with the cranes. We watched Keith the bricklayer, with absolute attention to detail, place every brick perfectly and knock it down if he wasn't satisfied. I went to the business partner and said, oh, I think this is, this is one that we need to go for. There's curved brickwork, there's timber portals, and it's different. When you look around and you, you say to people there's over 20,000 brick cuts to achieve, I, I call it a masterpiece because you just don't have that in the industry anymore. When Paul Keith came out here and we tried to bend his arm to do the project, from a bricklaying point of view, there's not many other bricklayers in town, if not in the country, that could do this today. We've got things like the brickwork from timber portals that young apprentices were able to work on. We had a school-based apprentice for a few days and he, he asked me a question, he goes, well, how many projects have you done like this? And I said, it's the first time and I've been in the industry over 30-something years. Being trapezoid, you have got non-parallel walls. You start and expose to a large opening and the openings get smaller and smaller. And that play of geometry is all through the building. So there's plays between window sizes, window shapes, brick shapes, brick enclosures, the structure. The concrete was polished at length and the result is a really marbled looking floor that I've never seen anything like it. The timber was all hand oil, bamboo that we've used from plantation and so it's a vessel for a creative experience and education of, of young children.